and welcome to another edition of Old God's Loving Life. I'm your host, Perry, and broadcasting today from beautiful New Smyrna Beach, Florida, at the Westwood Resort and Brewery in Studio 1A. Let me welcome you folks. Well, let's all welcome our guest today, Wayne. And it's me, Wayne. Yeah, welcome back to the studio, buddy. Yeah, I'm glad to be back in, uh, here and, uh, and great in our little location. Yeah, and, Studio uh, 1A. Yeah, of course, it's been raining a lot on and on. I know. The electrical storm is just unbelievable. Yep, it's about to do another one. Yeah, it seems like every day it's just we're having one of them. Hey, you, know? you drinking one of these? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, there you go. This this is an Orman beer, an IPA, mm. Orman Brewery, one of my favorite breweries. We went uh, this past weekend. A lot of malt taste. Yes, it's a very mal- it's a malty IPA type taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, real good flavor to it. Orman. We was I was going to say we went to Orman. Uh, we went to uh, Winter Garden to uh, Crooked Cans. And Crooked Can is in downtown Winter Garden. It's down near the end of the uh, the downtown section, and it's in a, a old plaza. And inside the plaza, they have all kinds of little restaurants. They got uh, 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 cookies. They got hot dogs. They got uh, sushi. They got you name it. They've got it in there. And you get all the way to the end. And uh, the breweries down there, mm-hmm. and they probably got about fifteen different flavors of beer. Yeah, how big is it? Oh, it's very big. It's just just about the same size as Tomoka. Really? I could believe. Never it. heard of the place. Well, it, I've heard of it several times, and people kept you know saying you need to go down and see it. So it's so far away from here. It's about an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, and for wide. you folks that are listening around the world. Uh, uh, Winter Garden mm-hmm. is a little community northwest of Orlando, you know, where the Mickey Mouse is. Right, and it's, it is not very far from Mickey Mouse. And you know, so you got uh, uh, Winter Garden, you got uh, all these little towns right in that area, and it, lo- it looks like you've gone back into the 50s almost. Oh, yeah, those old towns are still It's so preserved. neat. And they had this big... Uh, uh, outside shopping thing going on, you know, farmers market, and they were selling all kinds of stuff there. And but the the brewery itself, the Crooked Can, was outstanding. One of I definitely one of my favorites, and I highly recommend you go outside or inside. So it was your wife's birthday. You took her to a, a brewery for That's her where birthday. She wanted to go. Did she have a good time? She had a great time. Did she get snockered? Uh, yeah. Yes. Matter of fact, we came back out of there, and we went to the Yellow Dog Tail. And Yellow that's Dog Yellow Tail. Del- it, we got downtown New Smyrna on Canal Street, uh-huh. near the brewery. There Yellow Dog Disney. Eats. Do- Yellow Dog Eats. Tail Eats. Uh, and it's excellent. Tail. Yeah, and they had, they had a beer that I just couldn't believe it. They made this, they make this beer... And it smells like pot. It really has this aroma to it. Yellow dog but you brews don't, beer? You, yeah, and you don't know. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Yellow dog doesn't brew beer. This one does. Over here? No, over there. Oh, okay. You got me Winter confused. Haven. Okay. So I went in there, and then they got this one beer. This man says, you're going to like this one. And I smelled it, and I says. Wow, I never smelt one like that before. Like putting your face into a baggie, huh? Sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But it, it didn't taste nothing like that. It was like, it was an ale. It was an ale, and it was very, very good. And it was very tasty. It, it really was. Yeah. But every time I, you know, how you drink out of a glass, you're yeah. smelling it. At the same time, I kept thinking, man, this brings me back to a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that long ago. It's been over a while. All right, all right. Well, that sounds like a good trip. Yes, and then we came back from there, and we went. We was going to spend the night, but we decided we want to go to Stanford. And and we there's went, the thunder. There was the thunder. Sorry. And we went to the German restaurant uh, in Stanford, 
And we had a great time. Great sausage. Oh, they got good sausage. And uh, sausage and uh, red cabbage and potato. It was delicious. Well, that's of course, good. we came home and just had relaxing evening. It was a great, great, great day. Yeah. It was fun. That's and that's good. what she wanted to do for her birthday. So I think she wanted me to. She wanted to see this place as much as I did. Okay. Well, First, I, got her, I got her a couple outfits. Good report on the Crooked Can Brewery. Yes. I'm going to have to investigate it. Like I said, I've, I've never heard of it, but that's okay. I, I live a sheltered life. Right. I just work and sit here in this dungeon and work and go to the salt mines. And Do you guys really believe that? And sit in this dungeon. <laughs> I never go to the beach or uh, have a beer or uh, go out to eat. Uh-huh. You know, I, I'm just a good little boy. Yeah, right. So am I. And they all know already better. <laughs> yeah, our regular listeners to, to of our show know us very well. I put a thing on Instagram about... A pear beer, you know, it's called Perry. And I said, I, something about our our regular listeners know that I would never have this in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Really? <laughs> since we talked about Instagram, I thought maybe today is a good day to announce that um, we're on Twitter now. Old Guys Podcast. So you can find us on Twitter and follow us. At Old Guys Podcast, and we appreciate you following and uh, and uh, retweeting us if we uh, if yeah we definitely. say anything that you like. We we really want to increase our presence worldwide, uh, bring more people into our website, and 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 we're going to start uh, using the old FB a little less than uh, we have. Uh, not quite impressed with FB and their security measures. And oh yes, yeah. Uh-huh. So and, and so we're on, like I said, we're on Instagram and uh, the the Twitter now, and so. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, great. Glad to hear that part. Yeah, and then we're getting more and more people coming in and listening. Right, and which is great. And of course, please, somebody you know, call out and say something. You know that we have more things to say and tell you, and maybe you might be interested in uh, what we know. Right. Especially it's now it's coming in the year of the uh, a lot of cruises, and everybody knows my, I talk about world class cruises uh, with my wife, and the trips that we used to take. Of course, we did a lot of them, and we was on our bucket list. Mm-hmm. And I believe the last one was Costa Rica. Right. right. You yeah. talked about uh, Alaska. You have talked about Ireland, and you've talked about uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica, where yeah. you went surfing there and scuba diving and and hang gliding and parasailing, and all that good stuff. And um, this, this time, I want to talk about Jamaica. Jamaica? Jamaica is my man. Oh, oh see, my, my, my. he's talking about pot beer. Now he's talking <laughs> about Jamaica. Do you see the connection, folks? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? It hasn't been that long, has it? Well, let's not go that far. I never buy anything out of the United States. And he never takes it back on the boat. No, 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 no. He takes it on the boat. You smoke it before you get on the ship. I don't even want to think about doing things like that. There's there's such thing as little dogs or dogs. Yeah. And when they come up to you, and they're not coming up to you to say hi. They're coming up and checking you out. And if it sits down right beside you and looks at you, well, there, a few seconds later, there's going to be a couple guys that's going to be right there looking at you. That's right. And they don't mind saying hi. <laughs> so uh, so let's talk about the Caribbean. Uh, my wife and I are, uh, we've got some uh, brochures out here from worldclasscruises.net. And uh, we're kicking around the idea of going uh, on a little cruise, uh, somewhere between a five to seven day. And we... Um, when I when I talked to Linda at World Class Cruises, uh, she, I told her, well, I want you know what top, what type of cabin I want, where in the ship that you know you know you want midship, you want aft, forward, whatever. Um, for you folks that have cruised before, you understand the differences. People have never cruised, uh, you know, the midship is a little less of a role. The aft ship, you probably get the scenic, unobstructed view more 
right. than, than being like in a balcony on the, on the midship. So I told her I wanted uh, what kind of cabin I wanted and uh, where we were thinking about going. And I, and I, when I told her we wanted to go either from Tampa or, or Port Canaveral. We didn't want to travel. If we wanted to travel, um, if we wanted to travel to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, we'd go on Princess. Right. Princess Cruises, my absolute favorite cruise line uh, to to d- today. I know Wayne prefers another company, but we we enjoy the Princess because there's there's a lot less of the little rugrats running around. It's a little bit more of an older ship. Older crowd on the ship, rather, right. and, and and you know, and you don't have this thing, uh, roller coasters and 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 climbing walls and surfing things, and you know, we we don't we're not into that. We're just into going to the, going and having dinner and, and relaxing at the spa, relaxing at the pool, and 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 I'm enjoying and, the and, time and, and, and going to the going to the show, uh, right. going to the theater. So uh, so that's you know that's kind of thing we like to do and so anyway linda came up with um several packages here uh one is old carnival which uh oh my kids carnival yes exactly and uh That's got a so lot of this one this one is a five day and it goes to uh, goes from tampa to havana and then you're in havana for two days then you go to Key West and then back to Tampa. What carnival ship is that they're talking about? Uh, carnival. Carnival. Carnival Paradise. Oh, par- oh Paradise? That's a nice ship. Mm-hmm. That's probably one of the only... There's two I liked uh, in Carnival, and definitely that's my top list right there. Paradise. So- so another one, another one she gave me is uh, on Royal Caribbean. Uh, I don't know what b- boat this is. Uh, ship. It's still a boat. No, a well, boat's like a fourteen footer. No. This is like ten blocks long. <laughs> uh, I was in the U.S. Navy. I think I could say that an well, aircraft that carrier. Well, that was back in the old days. <laughs> I think I could say that safely that an aircraft carrier and a submarine and everything else in the Navy is called a boat. That's why you have an officer called chief of the boat, not chief of the ship, chief of the boat. All right, we we did digress. Okay, so Royal Caribbean, and this one goes out of Miami, so it's. It also has two days in Havana, and then it, other than Havana, there's nothing else. And I don't want to drive all the way to Miami to go and sit Havana for two days, and then and then a day of cruising, and then end up back in Miami. So you don't like cigars? I, it's not the the thing. I don't want to drive two all the way. Two days of smoking good Havana cigars. I can go two days here. No, but it's, and go it's, out of Tampa. It's being in, being in Cuba. It's not. I'm not talking about going to Cuba. I'm talking about driving to Miami. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. that's right. a long way. Yeah, like I said earlier, if I was going to drive that far, yeah. I would go on a Princess. Right. Right. So that one, that one's off our list. You don't know what's the name of the show. I don't know, but it yeah. leaves out of Miami, so that one's off our list. Yes. All right, what else we got? We got another one. We have a Norwegian cruise line. Uh huh. And that one goes to Cuba as well. And it goes to Cuba, it goes to Key West, uh, Key West, and Cuba for two days again. Uh huh. And then it goes down to the uh, uh, Bahama Islands. They have a, a, a place of their own. Uh-huh. And they even got there, they got all kinds of activities going on. Royal, uh, Royal Caribbean. Now, where does Norwegian it depart from? Norwegian Cruise Line is, is huh? Where does it depart? Port Canaver- Canaveral? A Canaveral. Yeah, see, this one I think I'm leaning towards. Because, you know what I because, like about this one? Well, because you leave out of Port Canaveral, which is just 30, 40 minutes from the house. Yeah. Uh, it's a two-day in Cuba again. Plus, you have a Key West and, and, and another stop. Yeah, you get a Key West at eight. You go to Key West, Havana, Havana for two days.